don't don't take don't innocent, take innocent life. Life, life. Yeah. Don't take innocent life. Life, life. Hate Dean coming at you. Life, life, life. Don't take innocent life. Yeah. All the people out there. Don't want to see innocent life. Naeem on the on the keyboard controlling hey. the things. Are the people out there? All right. This says that we're online all over the place. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're on Instagram live right now. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, Adomalik, if you can do us a great favor of just like looking after our friends over in the Instagram world um, and we'll keep it going. How's everybody doing this morning? Okay, we got people checking in already, just so you know. I got Abbas giving salams um, right in the middle there. Abbas gave salams. Um, who else is there? Uh, Youssef from Facebook. Hi. Um, Hi. Got Ali from Saudi Arabia. Ahla wa sahla. Thema. Saudi. Hails of faith and love. Mecca saying, how are you guys doing this morning? From Georgetown, whoa, whoa, oh my goodness. This is an old friend of mine from Georgetown. Tasneem, Jennifer from Georgetown. All right, salam alaikum. All right, all right. A lot of people wow. checking in. Mecca's checking in. Mustafa's checking in, saying good people. Appreciate that. Um, we got Atia um, Shahzad checking in. So good to see you guys. Back, miss you guys. You're in Mr. Nasheed. It's got Joe Boz giving salams. Got um, someone else named Combo giving salams. We got people checking in. We got a lot on Facebook right now, and they're still piling in. We got people on the YouTube channel on Native Dean's YouTube channel, and we got them on the Dean TV YouTube channel checking in. Let and them of come course, in. Let them come in. Welcome. Take a seat. Get your cup of hot chocolate latte, some tea, some some some. It's a fancy thing. You can have like a cappuccino, or you can have a macchiato, or you can have a cortado, macchiato, or you can have a, a Gibraltar. With the macchiato. <laughs> All right, cool. Do have a seat. Let's do this. We got. Uh oh, we got some people clapping. How, we, how did that happen? That's just uh, our, our, that's our, some of our sound effects we got over here. Okay. You got Naima. You got Naima saying salams and letting the people know that she's Muslim. Thank you for tuning in, Naima. Mashallah. All right. So what we are got, we doing today? We got Ramadan is here. I am near. Naim's the man of the year. Abdul Malik sheds no tear when he gets. You know that's that's we got a lot of stuff going. We're gonna talk talk to him about it, uh, the the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, the pros, the cons of these music videos and these songs, little behind the scenes, and uh, and get to it. But first, you know, I hope everybody voted and congratulations. I think uh, the sanity election is um, you know pretty much over. But we'll we'll see we'll see how it go. It's been called, but is it over? That's the question. That's the question. <laughs> That's the question. It's, it's been stressful. Who, have y'all been up, like, watching at night and stuff like that? Been, like, trying to see what's happening? Or are you just like, I did my part. I'm done. I, that, exactly. I did my part. I, I voted early, and then I was like, I'm done. You know, I encouraged other people to vote. I ain't going to stress over it. Okay. What about you, um, Domali? What did you... you, you um. uh, I tried not to check like CNN and other websites every two minutes. I think I got down to you know every three four hours. You know, I, you know I kept it at at a, at a good normal. You know what I mean. And then uh, and then after a while, you know you check it every like every uh, once in a while and it doesn't change. And then you're like whatever, dude. Um, I was on Instagram, Facebook, so. Twitter the whole time just like juggling oh. seeing what was happening <laughs> reading all the memes i was like i mean i did have the cut off i mean i would go to bed late just cause, and i just i just want to see but i i just i i think ever since we were kids and uh, i think there, i remember one time we were at camp and i fell asleep and the camp had like a riot and i fell asleep through the whole thing so now i have an issue of like uh, fomo you know fear of missing out so I would just, I didn't want to be asleep when they declared this thing or something crazy j pops off. And I'm just like, what? What do you mean? Day in the streets? You know, um, so I, I, I had to kind of stay connected. At least for when the revolution comes. The revolution will not be televised. There you go. 
<laughs> you know, oh man! All right, so I so just like go ahead. Gram, no. <laughs> no, just uh, let's, um, let's and you still got more people checking in. Just a couple more. I just mentioned some of the names. You got Mecca checking in and saying, "Are there more challenges coming?" Um, uh, I don't know what they mean by challenges. Maybe they mean challenges or or what's happening. Giovanni is one. Joe Biden one. Okay, cool. Um, people, I, I think there's gonna be a lot of challenges. Someone else about Thelma said we beat the orange monster. He's gone. By the grace and will, no true reality. <laughs> that that's not me making up. That's what people say. Um, Naima's laughing at that. Uh, other people's giving us salams. Um, Mustafa saying salams. Long time no see, brothers. Asad Khan. Assalamualaikum. Um, what do you want to make? What do you make of the elections? Um, I don't know. I don't. Know, is there anything else you want to say on that, Joshua or the Malik? Salams from yeah. Rahman and. The, uh... The struggle continues when somebody asks, are there going to be any more challenges? I hope people don't think that the struggle's over. Right. There's still, there's still people dying in the streets. There's still a Black Lives Matter movement. There's still a Me Too movement. There's still uh, people dying all the way around the world. Uh, there's wars that are still going on that America's involved in, uh, that American citizens have long forgotten. Uh, there's still local politicians that people don't really vote for, don't care about. So we... we um, we, you know, it's not time to drop a guard. You should be look at this as a, you know, like a warm up to being more politically active and uh, get more engaged in, in our society. I agree. Yeah. Somebody is asking you on Instagram about the, your push up challenge. How's that going, Josh? I'm, just I'm about to. I'm a, I'm a report in tomorrow. To be honest, I I went backwards. I ain't gonna lie. I started okay. out strong and then I went I went cold for like almost a month. I think I could do less push-ups than I started when I when I went in that parking lot. But then about a week ago, I got back in and I'm, I'm, I'm doing some after every prayer, doing some pull-ups. I just did some about, a, about 15 minutes ago. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see that? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that looks, um, looks um, definitely it's coming. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so let's get and get into what we're doing today. And I, and I agree with you. Um, struggle continues. The work never ends. You know, um, and and um, no matter who's in office, we still have to play our part. We have to do our. We have to play our role. So no matter, um, it, it may be different. We'll see. Um, inshallah. Um, and uh, you know. So, but let's go ahead and get into this right now. We're, we're, we're for people who don't know. Oh, Sean's on. Oh, Sean saying Sean Sean uh, Thwaites giving shout out saying my brothers. <laughs> hey. What's going on, Sean? So let like let me just say officially that y'all backgrounds look so cool. I mean, Abdamalik looks like he's running his own podcast. Abdamalik looks like he's an upgraded Mr. Rogers with a library in the background and everything. I look like I'm in quarantine, you know. So, yeah, y'all got it going on. I mean, I, I do like live streams all the time, so I keep it looking like a pottery barn. So, just you, you that's all. That's a part of the live stream. You got to have a good background for people to be like. Because they, they so I mean plus I got product placement I got my brother's book here I got my daughter's artwork here I, you know that's a that's a lot of purposefully placed things up there um, but okay. the purpose of today though we supposed to be talking about the albums like we said when we do um, the when we do like uh, the native dean like everyone's on um, we're meant to do reviews of past albums and we're going back 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 because this year we're celebrating twenty years of native dean so we're going back back back. Um, uh, and this week we're looking at The Remedy, the third album from Native Dean, for those who don't remember. Um, what do you remember about recording that, uh, that album just generally from either one of you guys? I remember we did a lot of the album, uh, in our own studio, as opposed to standalone, we, we went to a studio in, uh, 8121, studio 8121. Okay not existent so i think and then we also used um i think this is the first time where we as our own we chose a producer as opposed to a producer chosen for us mm -hmm. so i think that was uh this that was the, the um and we we had uh was his name brother Anas do a lot of the mixing and stuff oh awesome awesome um what about you jo josh what do you remember about the album in particular the remedy yeah, I th I think um, 
you know, I don't remember much anyway, now, but but person saying I am not afraid to stand alone is the best song. Next oh. month we'll be talking about that album, Not Afraid to Stand Alone. But there's some great songs on the remedy. Anything, John? You remember any of that time? I, I mean, uh, we we filmed the we filmed the. I remember that long... video. I remember that video. I do remember a lot about that video. It was really cool being out in the middle of D.C. I think we were out there till like two in the morning or something, and we were able to do a whole dance routine in the street. You know, uh, barbershop right around the corner. You know, it was yeah. It was really I remember cool. that. So yeah, like, yeah. You got that that crazy barbershop. Um, cut with the <laughs> line. You remember that? Like it, it was like uh, yeah. He drew it in. Yeah, I remember yeah. a lot. I mean, I, it was a lot of great memories. Um, for that one, I, one of the things I, I just remember, I can tell you. Um, one of the memories I have, if we, because we're gonna go ahead and jump into the "I Am Near" as the first song that we'll play. We'll play a little bit of "I Am Near" video for you guys. Um, what I remember about "I Am Near." Is when we first started, Abdul Malik came with the beat and and he played it for us, and we were like working with it in um Dave, in David's basement, right, and with Todd on the drums, and and he was playing it, and it was like uh, when they ask about me, still it doesn't I am near, and then we were like, and then Todd just kept on saying. Um, that sounds like something else. That sounds like something. Don't it sound like something else to you? And I was like, no, 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 man. This is this is great. And then and then I started singing it more and more. And I was like, wait, that's a John Legend song. It was like, <laughs> I used to love you. So then I just remember being so deflated because we were like, this song is gonna be so hot. I was just and then we just were like got into a, like a little like deflated bubble just sitting around the energy just went low and 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 just and we were lost and then i remember after a while asking todd to play the beat again and then i sang it a little differently and the dude i was like wait a minute and he jumped on and then we kind of like saved the song to be used and it was just like oh it was i, I just, I was, just I, was i was i there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, we were all there. <laughs> yeah, this documentary we're gonna do. I is feel like I need to carry you around. I need to carry a little container around with Naeem in it, just like a genie, and rub it, and have Naeem come out and tell me like what happened yesterday. Or, but someone else says I am near is the best. It was one of the best you made ever. Um, somebody else checking in from Turkey. Um, other other big fans. Ibrahim, big fan. Um, someone else is still, I'm not afraid to stand low always. Um, so let's go ahead and get into I am near. All right. Let's, let's, let's play. I am near and, um, let's reminisce from back in the day. Naeem, John wants you in the conference room. Oh man, this must be a good time to raise. Yeah, we'll see you there. I wanted to bring you in here today uh, in order to uh, kind of comply with uh, corporate is mandating some amount of downsizing. Okay. And um, with that, unfortunately, I uh, hate to do this, but we're going to have to let you go. All right. Um, here, your exit papers. Uh, I'll need you out today. And uh, I'll have to go from there. Just after all these, just, just like that? Yeah. Like I said, I'm really sorry to do this. Meet Stitch Fix. Here's how to look good in four easy steps. First, complete your style profile. You'll get. Oh, man. You get ads. Got a lot. Making up the 
had to bring it back i get that video goes on forever but um had to bring it back thank you guys I, there was a lot of comments on this thing um on on all the things i don't know if you saw some of the comments p picked up and then i saw there was a lot of laughs you guys had um, <laughs> let me let me tell you about my laugh what, what's your laugh about Josh? so so um, uh we abdomalik and i ran into a, a guy that works on videos and everything and and uh so he had a good eye and he critiqued something that we had never noticed before. And he said, when you got off your motorcycle, who did you give your helmet to? <laughs> because he, he just hands it off screen like, and somebody takes it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So that was oh, funny. Man. Grab this one. So did that jog some of your memory, Josh, of the album? Any any of that? Any, any other good memories from from that song? I mean, the meaning or well, let's get into let's get let's go more a little more in the video. And then let's talk about some of the song meaning too. And I'm um, people watching like they're just saying they said the Islamic Jet Li. That's what Mustafa said here. 
Um, we had like a good friend Patricia Mary, who's always gets on. Um, who said it was like a touching story, um, very entertaining to watch the video. Um, other people asked, "Did you really get fired and you had to sell the house?" I, I remember. I remember the guy who was <laughs> acting as my son, who looks like he's like my same age. I remember we explained to him, and the guy's like. You lost all the money <laughs> when we explained in the concept, like we lose the house. He said you messed up all the money. That's people's reality. That's some people's reality, man. I mean, especially we going through this thing with COVID. There, there are people who are, are finding it that way. So, so yeah, that was the the concept was, um, like I, you know, I got fired from my job. We had to sell our house and move to the city, and my son gets caught up in the life in the streets you know it starts disobeying me and he's like upset with me and stuff like that inshallah my my real son zane who's on the side playing video games that this is that a foretelling you know he's a really good boy and all that kind of good stuff so um but yeah it was uh, it was it was a good times what about you Adwal? What, what about some of those stunts and i had to make sure we got to see the stunts oh man yeah, the, the, that music video was very interesting. It had a lot of ups and downs. Um, I think we, when we shot it, we thought we could fit it all into a four-minute um, music video. I don't know what we were thinking. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we had all the footage, we were like, there is absolutely no way we can fit it. So then then, then we did that basically that fight scene um, with the motorcycle and all that kind of stuff. And everybody comes up to me and is like, man, you know, I'm, I've been looking for another brother who, can, you know, who likes to ride. You know, I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, I saw you on the motorbike. Um, I was like, that was, I was like, nah, that was another brother. What was the brother's name, though? I can't remember. Um, that was. Uh, I, I remember when I see him, but I don't remember. That was Rashid. That was Rashid. 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 There you go. Rashid. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He brought um, his bike and uh, it was awesome. Even that is a story in it in itself is that like if, if again you guys don't remember nothing but then in, in, in itself Rashid's wife came to be an extra at the end mm -hmm. of the end of this though to show she's at we yeah. didn't get to see the end of the video she came to be an extra but he turned out to be like one of the central characters in the video at the end it was crazy he was the stunt driver he drove the motorcycle he yeah. like and, and it was dangerous because he had to um we were uh, other things i will say that we were not we were not filming it's like how you film like you film it would have been slow and taking your time they would have ran down the street slowly to get cut off but they would take off and i remember rashid had to like 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 yeah. try to pass them on the motorcycle and cut them off was like yo this is dangerous <laughs> it was crazy um but uh but yeah so alhamdulillah things just came together just the um it was exciting i had a i had a good time and if they you. if they want to know who Rashid is if they want to know who Rashid is they need to watch it towards the end where he when he's in prison and the guy that breaks oh, up yeah. the fight that's Rashid that was the guy who pulled a bike yeah doesn't he like bring him to like try to get him closer to Islam, or is that another brother? That's that's him, the same guy. No, yes, I don't yeah. remember. I haven't watched. Yeah, it. Yeah, I haven't yeah, watched you need to watch the, the music so video. It's uh, yeah, you should I haven't watch the seen music it video. so long, man. But alhamdulillah, what about the what about the message behind it? Not just the video. The video is just. I think it has a lot to do with redemption. If you see the rest of it, you get to see like the son who redeems himself. He makes something better of himself and that kind of thing like that. And watch the whole of it. But what about the song in general? About the messaging and the song when you were writing this of the Malik? Um, so um, the 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 chorus actually is based on a Quranic ayah. Wa ida sa'ala or the Bilam Shtarji, wa ida sa'ala ka ibad ya ani fa inni qareeb. When my servants ask about me, tell them that I am near. Mm. Um, and then there's another hadith that says, um, you know, if you take one step towards me, I will walk uh, like an arm's length. And if you take an arm length, I'll walk this much fathoms like length. Allah's yeah. always yeah fathoms and then and he always is trying to uh, if you reach out to him he'll he's going to reach out to you that much more so I think that was the basis of those those two the ayah in the Baqarah and then that hadith um, that is I think a hadith could see I'm not sure correct right. me scholars inside the inside chat the chats. inside you know the chat that hang out in the chats when that's we right, what did you, you just know? post 
Naeem, you just posted somebody said they didn't understand anything. They say, I don't understand anything now. I don't understand anything now, but I'm having a good time or something like that. Let me see if I can make it bigger. I can try to make it bigger so you can see that. Um, they mean yeah. they don't understand us right now or the song? Yeah, it, what is it? Is it who's who did that? Is uh, Ali, Ali, I think it's Ali Ahmed. Ali, you can't understand. Can you guys who are trying to tune in, can you understand us? Um, somebody else would say something, nothing light. Can you sing I Am Near? We just played I Am Near. You could just do the When they ask about me, my servants I am near, have no doubt about me. And no, I hear your prayer. Take one step towards me, and I'll and come I'll running come to down. you. Just have faith and believe. You know, I'll listen to you. Go, Dumali. Allahumma pum 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 the universe, in of the universe. I don't remember any of the words. I mean. <laughs> oh, th that's another thing that I was laughing at when somebody put in Instagram, like, I, I memorized the whole song. I was like, mashallah, because uh, no. we'd be on stage <laughs> roughing it. Yeah, I don't think we, I don't know if we, we might perform that one live like twice. Um, but that's a great, I enjoyed it. I but enjoyed you know, it. you know this, this song? Mm. This song and other songs, they sound really good. If you listen to them on YouTube and you speed them up, you ever done that? And the, the chip like put them on like two times. It's like it's like wow, okay, it's a, it's a different vibe. You guys should try that. All right, so let's get into the next song. Next song I want to talk about is one that was written by Joshua Salem. Um, it was a remix to uh, when we when we I remember some of the other ones we hear normally is like. Tell us about that, Joshua. You know, um, I made a, a, a friend with an older Arab brother a long time ago when I used to perform by myself. His name was Abu Ratib. Who? He got a name, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, hold on. He remembers somebody. You got to give him up for that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hey, and hey, no, I ain't got no problem. Guys, I appreciate you got the sound effect. And and um, so there was a a few times where I was performing at the same thing he was performing at, and I was always like uh, rapping, and he was always singing. Uh, but once he would all, there was a song that he would always do, which was Yeah Thai Ba, and you know sometimes when I don't pay attention, things just start absorbing in me, and I started putting my little you know piece on it and you know I, I told him about it he was like yeah yeah go ahead and try so I felt like I had the Abu Dhabi approval and so and you I got would just this person's <laughs> approval too you see that there he, they're saying they, they like the slow version and the brother Joshua Salam version hey hey so yeah normally I speed things up normally that's my thing I speed in fact I try to speed up all the Naeem and Abdul Malik songs too and they'd be like no that's not how I wrote it but I'm like the speed up guy that's like speed it up and see how it sounds. So I was like, yeah, time bad. Yeah, time bad. And um, then the lyrics just came. I'm right. living in America now. Got that from American style. All right, cool. So and, um, it, and I think Naeem made a joke. And I want to I want to give you a, a, a credit for your joke, Naeem. You, you said it always sounded like I was saying something else like, uh, like Elmer Fudd or something like that at the beginning. So you remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Uh, you, oh, yeah, you said I said I'm living in America. America now <laughs> got that Muslim American style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alhamdulillah. You know, you gotta have you gotta have fun with it. You gotta have fun with it. My um, memory is different. I just remember different things. No, that's good, and that's and that's why they have three of us on. I mean, I do remember. I remember in in. I remember doing figuring some things like that. That, that Medina to Munawara, boom. That like coming together and doing that part and doing those like, if you call them movements or those change ups and different things like that. It was like really, I, I felt I had a good time doing that one. I had a good time doing that one with you. Um, uh, and I remember calling my friend Ahmed Shahata because we because the Arabic wasn't our Arabic isn't the greatest. So calling him up to make sure. It, he could hear what we were saying to make sure it was phonetically and everything was said correctly and all that kind of stuff like that. So shout out to Ahmed Shahata, you know. Um, but let's go ahead and play it, and then let's talk a little bit more about the meaning and maybe some more memories. Is that cool? 
Yeah. All right. So let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, tell you bye for those who don't know. I'm living in America now, got that Muslim American style But my heart is with the city of the prophet, getting to Medina somehow Will I make it? I really don't know, I made my knee to go It's in my plan, if it's in the plan of Allah, then he will make it so Of a lot, send peace and blessings on them now. At least once in my life, I'm gonna get to Medina somehow. When I make it, I'm gonna break loose. Thank Allah for the prophet that he chose. For the book of guidance, when I recite it, that love in my heart grows. I really feel safe, so I raise to the blessings, I wanna get some Stack them up till they reach to the sky Holding tears cause I don't wanna cry So many years I've been trying to get here And I ain't gonna stop, it's a must that I try This city of Medina is blessed Emanating light all the way to the west You know we do what he did and we say what he said Cause you know that his way is the best Focusing on his life is the key Learning all about his qualities He was honest, loving, showed compassion And that's how I wanna be Taiba from Native Dean, Brother Joshua Salam. Um, a lot of people joining in. Someone said it was glitching a little bit. It's probably like a little, the internet isn't as fast as I want it to be sometime. Um, and like the person said, like someone wrote um, Omega Wu. Wow. Wrote, um, Inspi this was so inspiring. I remember the story with a man who saved money from his performances to go for Hajj. Um, from your from your video and yes, that was the that was the story behind that and that brother actually um, the tr true story we won just a couple of shout out shout out to um, Ali Baluch who filmed that Ali video. One, of our, one, one, of our, one of our like Young friends like in the in the times of working with Native Dean I remember he was just like this kid who used to just hang out with Islamic Relief and film and we got him to come with us on tour and do some of our back behind the scenes footage and then eventually gave him some money to come up with an idea because he was a young exciting filmmaker um to do this video and he came up with this concept and found that gentleman who did this and actually that young that brother actually did he eventually saved his money um and um eventually he moved to um Dubai, i believe in the area got to do Omar and Hajj, all those type of things so little true story behind that and a little behind the scenes behind that amazing um, any more thoughts on 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 uh yeah two two things that i want to share with the, the people one um lyrically the 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 lyrics in english started from getting a translation of what was actually being said in arabic so that was the you know uh the the focus on it of uh, especially the second verse on um uh what was the second verse? Something about, you know, the prophet and the city uh, of Medina. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I, I just, I, I remember that we, we were looking at the translation and I started writing lyrics from that and then just built it around, you know, an American context. 
Two is, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Y'all, y'all may not be happy. But we we got canceled from a show because of this music video. Some people. I didn't know that. I remember, and I know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it was it was a community. Not gonna say who, not gonna say where, but they didn't like you put them on blast. Uh, the fact put that, that community a, on blast now. So no, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but but there, not only was there um, uh, men doing break dancing, but apparently there was a woman doing break dancing somewhere in the video, and they uh, they really didn't like that, and so we didn't even know what they were talking about. They were like, "You guys got." women dancing in your videos. And I looked at Abdullah like, I was like, we do? Like, and I, I'm imagining like a backup dancer or something. Like, I don't think we, I don't think that's our video. But they were talking about, we after we investigated and asked questions, they were talking about this video. But alhamdulillah. Uh, so that that was, that was kind of interesting. To I've even too, seen this video played on other networks where they cut out that part and then played the rest really? of the video. Yeah, I've seen that. Or for Shabab, they, when they had that, their channel, I remember watching it over there and was like, this video looks different. <laughs> oh man um yeah and it was it was fun doing those dance moves in abdul malik's uh, oh and another thing is that part of that was filmed oh at yeah Malik's martial arts studio oh yeah and yeah, so yeah, yeah. when we were practicing our dance moves with the with the, the brother there that was in abdul malik's studio and it was fun just trying to do those things he was amazing i mean i, yeah. I can't do that stuff so yeah. it was fun it was a good time it was a really good memorable time doing that video um <laughs> I we we well we started to, we started half an hour so we got we got like half an hour more we're gonna do this until about one thirty you guys do you guys have until one thirty because we started late or or what's your time like yeah I need okay. um, <laughs> actually my but I'll I'll try to stay till one thirty okay uh, let's let's get into a couple more other songs if I'm going down the list um, there's a month that comes every year that's really exciting and I remember Joshua. Um, Joshua was definitely a proponent of of this song at the time, if he remembers. I don't know if you remember, Joshua, that you feeling like the Muslims needed. Again, we're going from Joshua Salam remixes the jams, like knowing that there's so many Ramadan songs that were like, Welcome Ramadan, Ramadan. And then Native Dean comes in. And tell tell me tell me your feelings on that, Joshua. Your whole the whole background behind needing a Ramadan song. Well, we actually used to do a Ramadan song from from Men of Rap's days or something like that. Oh and yeah, that that one might have fallen into the category that you just said. It was just like a uh, Ramadan is here, the blessed month of the year. It was more like um, I don't know, more. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Mary had a little lamb. What are those things called? Nursery rhyme. It was more. It was more nursery rhymeish. Although, tangent. When we did it with that brother, the Nightingale, the tall Moroccan brother from overseas, and he he took it to another level. That was that was amazing. But, but this one, yes, yes, he was he was cool. Uh, but but this one, I think, was definitely more upbeat. Ramadan is here. Don't don't don't. <laughs> It had like a like a reggae type of beat to it, and um, and and I will say this: this was one song where I didn't like the the producer's mix as much as Abdul Malik's original mix. So really? Abdul Malik made, yeah, Abdul Malik made a beat first, and I wrote to that beat, and then it got tweaked a little bit, and my verses got put on there, but I didn't like my verses. Oh, I'm happy as he much. did. Oh, no, they're, they're talking about Vitamin. I thought they were talking about the tweak. But keep, keep uh, uh, going. I, I didn't like my verses on the new version of the beat as much as I liked it on Abdul beat. And I wish the world could hear how I was flowing on the original beat, like Ramadan vibrations, more donations, dinner invitations. Is that something you got on your on your, on your your hard drives, Abdul somewhere in the, you know, if you dug deep, if you had not now for I'm the sure show, but if you dug deep and you were like for the for the, for the the documentary type of stuff, I don't know. For me personally, yeah, I remember Anis coming back with that and was like, like, because like you said, I remember the song was hype in the beginning, but he was like, this new one is just going to be like, it's going to be like too hype. I don't know if y'all ready for this. And I was like, so ready because I like a Joshua said, I think people, I, I know definitely we, we take a different like 
a view of the month is a very serious month is a very like you know you're trying to get your life right month but at the same time it is exciting when it's here you know like you're excited that it's happening you're out all night at the mosque with friends and family praying there's so many iftars you invited to if you're blessed i mean some people living in by themselves somewhere but you know there's a such a good chance for a good time that to just be just like, like you said, Ramadan is here, but the Ramadan is here, that, that, that kind of energy, I, I always love that. Um, I, I always love that. Um, anything before we play play the video, Abdul anything else you want to say on that? Um, I, I, I remember the music video, but we'll talk about the music video after. Play the video, and then we can okay. talk about the and, and the last thing, too, guys, remember, this is all on The Remedy. You can get this on Spotify. You can get this on Apple Music. You can search them out on YouTube. All these things help out. Please continue to support the band. Support us through sharing our music with friends and family. Um, sh play it at your Eid events. Play it at your, your weekends. You know, what are you doing with COVID? Enjoy, and, and inshallah, soon enough. Um, we're in the process of working on new material. So, all right, let's go hear it. Ramadan is here. Ramadan is here. Before it's come and gone Getting close to a loss Spend a lot of time See the condition of my heart Like a son and grandma oh Everybody knows we got to fast But does everybody know How the time is passed? Is it sleeping all day And the night's a blast And we're getting the reward And the month is fast oh I know you gonna wake up right Drinking water Maybe being pie Praying at sunrise Fast in the day Keeping that dean tight Breaking fast With some dates Part of where at oh night Alright it's a blessed month, doesn't mean that it's hard that you can't have fun But strive in your heart for your Lord the one And be blessed by your love when the month is done I'm busting the door like, get yourself up, you bout to miss a whore Turkey bacon on the plate but I'm beefing I'm upstairs sleeping while they down here eating Scenes like this, it makes me reminisce What it meant, growing up with Ramadan as a kid My homies buying up the corner store Now late it's quarter waters We break it eight, but it's quarter to four They got jokes, like oh yeah, he's fasting Something about blessings, heaven everlasting Asking, like your feds up on me But like, dude, let me ask you for real, is you hungry? I hunger for the day when the sins of my slate Be as empty as the food on my plate And if you got jokes, man, here's a taste Take a little fastest breath to the face room. More donations, dinner invitations, mini supplications Good behavior means better reputations Don't start nothing, no provocations No fighting, no argumentation From the fitness and the drama, take a vacation Mosque is packed with a huge congregation Some just come as an annual visitation Some just come for the hum of the recitation Memorization of revelation Less temptation and more contemplation Getting ready for the E-celebration Shake a lot of hands, giving salutations Salam alaikums, peace upon the nation the the world is one, forget the segregation Another Ramadan, congratulations in the house ladies and gentlemen i, I mean I'm, I'm excited about that i gotta give some applause to ourselves i i have so many memories now as i'm watching these videos and, and that happens exactly same here <laughs> things that happen with this video with uh. this song in general um go, but it got what were you, you say you had something you want to share about the video of the molly oh well the, okay the song i remember 
that um, <laughs> I remember when you came up with your verse, right? And it was it was like for me it was because I I was kind of having like this happy vibe for the, yep. for the track, and then you come you came in with like take a little fast breath to the faith. <sighs> I'm like whoa, <laughs> and then uh, but that was great though. I mean that's that's the beauty of Native Dean. You know we all have our different angles and when we bring it all together it makes like a complete picture you know and looking back on it now it's like you know sometimes we we can't we can't always be so like you know not yeah uptight about you know about you how we want to <laughs> about no i mean myself me I, i'm talking I re- about me i remember you know, that like, i remember abdomalik and he <laughs> were trying to talk naive out of that verse no, I let me tell you. Like first <laughs> off, my 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 theory when it comes to us working together with music and stuff like that, and especially this one, like if Abdul Malik and Joshua are going right, I'm going left. I'm just I got I got it, and that's the way it is. When you when you got like when you if you think about the great like especially hip hop groups and stuff like that, everybody's verse had to be like I gotta outdo those other dudes, you know, or I gotta come out with I gotta come when. And they were finished. That's the other thing, too. These guys, they were done with their verses. They were waiting for me, and I was moving. I was in the process of moving, I think, about to move to Virginia. And I'm packing up a box. I had this little dinky mic that I have still for this day that I just sat up on, like, the, the fireplace of the house, and I just did my verse. And my verse, like he said, it was like, it wasn't the happy like yeah Ramadan is a good time. Let's have some Ramadan good time. I was like, I was remembering what it was when I was a kid like with Ramadan. Like your friends are your non-Muslim friends are eating and people or 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 I'm sleeping when my mom woke everybody else up for sahur and all this kind of those memories. And it I think it just gave it just like a, a rounder like shape. Like you have all these very different aspects. You got uh, Abdul Malik kind of talking about the purpose of it. You have um, I'm I'm talking about like my young experience of it, and Joshua was talking about like the community experience of it. Of like you know the because he was like working at the masjid at the time. Ramadan vibrations, more donations, dinner invitations. One come to the mass year for the hum, you know, all that stuff was just like where we were at the times, which is, I, I think, I think it adds a lot. And the last thing I'll say, and I'm going to be quiet because the one sister Omega, while she said earlier today about Ramadan is here, she said with COVID because of COVID, I'll see if I can find that with COVID, um, it was difficult to get my toddler nieces into the Ramadan spirit. So we play Ramadan is here to get them excited. And I think that's the great thing. I think just even for the f- community, I know so many people tell me when Ramadan comes that, that night or when it's about to hit, they put this on and it just gets the family excited about the, the month to come. Yeah. Okay. Usually it's a good segue when somebody else jumps in and says. Oh yeah. Well, you know. Okay. The music video. No, I disagree. No, they don't get ready for it. They like just turn that off. Ramadan. It's no time for that. <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, what was I gonna say? The music video was uh, uh, done by our good friend Dawood Hawa. And okay, go. Uh, okay, there's a lag. Gosh. I'm sorry, but yeah, I was gonna say two things. Yeah, I like the. Um, uh, I remember I really liked the 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 cool thing that was happening with the video screen that it was bringing in different pictures and things like that. Right. And then I also like looking at this video, and I think the community likes looking at this video because it places so there were so many people in that music video that they can see themselves from like eight years ago or six years ago, and I'm like, oh man, that's me when I was like twelve or whatever. Uh, I think that was Malik, you're like whole in laws, all of them in that video. Like even your father in laws in that video. That's like really. I don't even remember. Yeah, I gotta look at it again. <laughs> I've seen it in a while. People that grown up, like they like old, married with kids, probably was in that video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man! All right. And uh, I Abdul remember Malik, it was oh, it was a long day, and then and you know because we had to do several takes, and then sometimes the kid, you know, dealing with kids. Right, <laughs> and some of the kids were like, "Oh no, not again! Ramadan is here." <laughs> you can kind of see it in some of the, you know, in some of the. Uh, but that's hey, that's that's it. That's the music video. Awesome. Um. Wow, you got somebody from Crimea on here. Whoa, dude. 
Oh. People tune in all over the world. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. Just for, just so you know, um, again, as you're tuning in to our, our weekly live stream. Once a week, you'll get to see at least one of us from Native Dean checking in with you guys, sharing stories, sharing the work, um, sharing what's on our mind. But one one of those weekends a month, we have the whole band together um, that we, we said for now, we're going to reminisce on these older songs, these older albums and stuff like that. I think we need to split these into like two parts like we, we we are we are cutting through a lot of songs um there's a lot more that we could share i want to share uh, at least two more and out of order than i was thinking about it or at least one more and we'll see where we are and i think maybe the next time next month we should stay on the remedy and then when when not afraid yeah, when talk about not afraid to stand alone that's probably like three shows because hmm. it's it's a lot of stuff that happened to make that album um yeah, mm -hmm. dude, Naima, definitely take a prayer break. You can check it out when we're done. Um, and thank you for that. Um, I was going. I was thinking about playing "My Faith, My Voice" um, next. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to jump a couple songs, jump into "My Faith, My Voice" because I think like there's a lot to that. And I saw a bunch of people checking in from Algeria, a bunch of people checking in from Algeria, a couple of from Morocco, and I still remember being in Morocco singing that song and it was like this old lady in the concert that i don't know if she spoke english or anything but the one thing i do remember her going my faith my voice Adomar, what can you tell us about my the making of my faith my voice the song and the music video Ooh! oh man how much time we got we got all right this is gonna take this a while but, last um, one. i we think we, we like i said okay. we can do the rest of the songs another time there was a sister. Now I'm terrible at names, but I know I I know uh, I can't Rabia remember. Rabia Ahmed. Rabia. Yeah, man. Um, so she uh, had this campaign, "My Faith, My Voice," and she was trying to get people all around the country to submit videos to basically tell people that this is. It was around 9/11, I think, right? Yep. No, and it was so, well after. It was well after. It was that. well after that. Well after. Yeah. But it was a lot so, of things people were. Putting in Muslims being a problem, uh, right, right. The, you know. So then I was like, "Well, what if we did a music video, right?" And then I had I had the lyrics, um, "Me, and my community, we work hard." I think I had that way before uh, my faith, my voice. Um, and then when I heard this, I was like, "Well, let's just merge it, right?" And then uh, it kind of all came together. Awesome, awesome, uh, Joshua. This message for you. I'm not going to read it out. Put that message for you right there. Somebody put that up. Um, I, one thing is I, remember, I like the message. Okay. I, I have a really good idea for the message video, music video. I have a really, we can't film it because of COVID, but after COVID, I got a really great idea for a music video for the message that I talked to you guys about before. I was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll add about this, this song. Like it was a couple of things. Like the funny thing. Okay. Funny, fun fact. The person we filmed, um, Ramadan is here in the partly in the home of a brother who used to live across the street from the message that local DC people would know he owns Eastern Motors. Your job's your, your credit. Your job's your credit. Eastern Motors. Job's your credit. <laughs> so, and he also <laughs> let us, because he, I don't know, him and Abdullah became friends or something. Um, he also let us film in his studio because basically he had this uh, car lot and where at, where he does these um, sells all these cars, but also all the local um, for the Washington football team and for the baseball guys and for the Ravens will come and buy cars. But he has a big white room where when they get to get a discount, they just run in there and just like sing the Eastern Motor song. So the guy was like, I got to, I got to, you guys can use, come use the space anytime. And Abdul Malik said, let's go. And then that's how we got the video from My Faith, My Voice. Um, I'm going to jump to it. And oh, and there was the brother Khaled, uh, a good brother Khaled. I can't remember his last name. I remember his name, um, who filmed it. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, I remember the, the young guy. Um, and all right, let's go ahead and do My Faith, My Voice. Bismillah. And the guy at Eastern Motors was Robert Bessa. This is my faith, my voice, my faith, my voice. 
So a lot of people, even uh, you know, a good sister Patricia, she's asking, um, like, how many times did we have to perform that in order to get a, that that take or and, and, and all that? Do you remember filming that at all? Like, I don't think it was. It turned out not to be that difficult. That was like it wasn't. straightforward. I remember though that when we did it, <clears throat> I was just, you know me, I'm always like the conservative guy. I was like, all right, we're gonna just do it. It's gonna be a straight up. Uh, and you guys were like, all right, let's 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 spice it up. We're going to lift you. We're going to do the zombie. Like, you guys were like, and then I think, you know, that's what made the video, you know, when everybody adds a little spice to it. Um, that was cool. Yeah. So I remember that. Do you that. remember that, Joshua? Do you remember that aspect of it? Yeah, I remember that. And, and that's two things that I was going to say is, one, uh, I you know, Mike Tyson is back in the game. He's he's working out, and and I hope if he sees this video that you know he knows that we were just playing. I just want to say salam alaikum warahmatullah, brother Mike. You know we are, everything's good here with Native D. Uh, yeah, but, exactly. uh, Don't want to see him at the match, Jay. Looking for you. <laughs> 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 we got uh, <laughs> But but two, I think. Um, that uh, that room is also where he, you know, he photographed his cars, right? So it wasn't just where people came in; it was primi- primarily a place where he would photograph cars and get a good look with a white background, and then people would come in and do the video, and then, then we had access to come in and do the video. And I think that goes down as the the cheapest video that we've done. We got the most bang for our buck with that video, right? It was only a couple of hundred dollars, but it it went, um, you know, it went, That's went, viral. I don't know, it did pretty well. Yeah. I'd say too on on my side for it, like 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 Joshua, like 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 uh, Dumal and Joshua both said. I remember we were just told just show up with like all black, 
me and uh, Duma, me and Josh show up in all black and just come there and just sing the chorus because that's all we kind of were on the chorus. But then when we get there, it was like, yo, we can't just be just singing the chorus, just standing in the background. We got we gotta make this a we gotta make this a thing, and 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 it's usually the same thing that we do when we're on stage and we're about to perform, it's just kind of, we go into this huddle. Like we can't just get on stage and just be like, I am not afraid to stand alone. You know, we gotta, it's gotta have some movement. It's gotta have some action and it's gotta, it's gotta tell a story, you know? And, 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 um, that I tell you, that was probably one of the more fun ones too, because it was just very simple, very straightforward. We just visualized the music and then just like, just did it like the zombies or the or like how we like picked I my favorite is like we picked the Malik up when he was praying just like get that guy out of here <laughs> and, um so that was I remember it was good times with that one really good time um all right so uh I think that's gonna be our that's our last one for today um let me see someone else said most of us said that this was the first song that he saw from Native Dean um so that's awesome um, other people like uh, Omega said the zombie scene was hilarious for them, um, and it's like a su- and it's, it, someone else says it's like a summary of a lot of things. I think um, I, I I'll tell you the one thing also about my faith, my voice, because I remember too being in Indonesia, um, and 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 people were singing it because it's like so easy. It's not even like it. Uh, a lot of the things that Abdul Malik Hamdullah has written. And, and, you know, Josh and, and all of us are like kind of focused on that call and response of that very easy singable chorus, just my faith, my voice, young people, old people, people who don't even know the lyrics can just get in on that chorus and sing. And then the top of it is, is as Muslims, so many times we're misunderstood as you know, as, as black people in this country, it's oftentimes misunderstood. As just individuals, so many people are just misunderstood. And to be able to say, this is my faith. Don't take it by someone else's word. Take it from my faith, my voice, and hear it from me. Learn about the faith from me, not what you're hearing on TV or, or negative things you've seen. You ran into one Muslim guy and he ran you off the road. or something. I don't know what they did, but... Um, I, I think that's why it really resonates with so many people um, uh, over over time. Um, any closing thoughts? Any please as as we close out, guys, and I'm put up some more messages people have. I, I'll close out with this: that if they see us live, and you will get to see one one last Native Dean tour, uh, where you can come and hear all these songs. So if you hear Native Dean coming to your town, don't miss it because we probably won't be come back anytime soon. You won't hear this whole song because we cut it off when we perform it live. So each verse, uh, each one of Abdul verses, we cut it halfway. Just, uh, I don't know, those were some long verses, but that's some good lyrics that they don't hear live. So get the song ahead of time. All right. Anything from you, Abdul No, nah, man, these are good memories, you know. Um, it's funny, you know, we, as, as time progresses, um, like I, I haven't seen some of these music videos in years, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's good mem- reminiscing and, and you know, those those were good times, you know? Those were really good times. So yeah. alhamdulillah, we have to say alhamdulillah for that. Um, I would just say in a couple of things that people are saying here, they're really, saying that um, they really appreciated all that we've done and it's cool that we have this opportunity to talk with you here especially after having so much an influence as they were growing up. We really appreciate that. Um, and um, I, I would just say again, uh, we, we really are, are thankful for the time that we've been blessed um, to have, to be able to be a band together, to share, and to have it re- be received so well. Um, uh, so we want to thank all you guys for checking in each week. Next week, you're going to have Joshua Sanam. Joshua Sanam, you up next week. Who knows? Push ups. Oh, <laughs> all right. Push up challenge. Get ready. But I think the next time, I think the next time um, we do our together again, we have to stay on the remedy. There's other songs on here like "Who's the Greatest One." We need to talk about. We need to talk about um, "Ahad." We have to talk about "Ahad." We have to. Um, "Hungry Ones" is on here. Is we have to talk about these songs. Gaza is on here. We didn't talk about that. My Lord is on here. We didn't talk about that. 
Um, Our Earth is on here. We didn't talk about that. A lot of great tracks are on that album. If you haven't heard all of them, I saw a bunch of people say Nothing Light is a, is a great one that they, they, they like too. We thank you for tuning into this as well. But make sure you check it out on Spotify, on YouTube. Look at all the other work. There's a lot of great stuff out there. All right, everybody. Jazakallah khair, everyone, for getting on. I'm, no, I'm going to play the message as we go out because that's a lot of good energy on the message. And um, we hope you had a good time. I had a good time. Joshua, did you have a good time? He had a good time. Abdul Malik, you had a good time? All right, last time to just say, Assalamu alaikum, this is Naeem Muhammad. Oh my God, they forgot. This is Naeem Muhammad, Abdul Malik Ahmed, but together we are Native Dean. Salam alaikum, keep the faith.